hell of a tub here, guys. See, son? I'm gonna make it my second home. Nobody else hungry? Huh? We'll get lunch started. Already another margarita? I could say no, but I won't. You lost your fucking mind? The shit you're in with that kid, what you brought on yourself? Brought on myself? Oh, I suppose you let a certain element into your world. You're asking for it. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ, Tony. How could you pull that scam at my place? Come on, you know I never let that happen if I'd known. You're innocent. I get it. I'm just another victim of Benny Fazio criminal mastermind. That's right. And once you found out, instead of putting him in the ER, you should have come to me. He says he's gonna kill you, Artie. I can't take American Express now, Tony. You know what that means? I have to start with the fucking toofers. My account insisted. You happy? Life's not fair, right? I know. But somehow I believe my dad's crap about honest work. He used to say to me, you'll see. Pays off in the end. What a joke. I hate to see you like this. You know that. Because you start thinking crazy shit. Who's hungry? Where's everybody? Father-in-law don't want to come. Him and Carmel aren't speaking. How's the mate hook? Had to be my fucking saute hand, huh? Why, oh, yeah. Got no cake crowd here today. Sunday pasta's the last thing to go. The place is on life support ever since word got out to the regulars about their credit cards. And my staff is pissed off about Martina leaving. Benny did a real number here, Tony. Who knows? Maybe it's cursed. Fire than this. Can you stop talking like an old lady? Artie! So no go, huh? Ah, he's just being dramatic. How are you, sweetie? Better. They call him the flowers. And I... Only the best the best people. <laughs> hey, go be careful, too, because the way you two are looking at each other pretty soon, we're gonna have to put a high chair over here. We gotta talk about your problem. Oh, great. Another idea. How about a strolling accordionist? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you the name of a good psychiatrist. She's Italian. You'll like her. You know what? You go about in pity for yourself. I go about in pity for myself? I gotta tell you, buddy Zod, for that is fucking priceless. Use the other door. You bitch and you moan, and you blame everybody else for your problems, instead of maybe not letting the Mexicans do all the cooking for you, or, uh, I don't know, changing the menu, or changing the decor. I guess because you know how to eat, you know how to run a restaurant. On one of the bleakest nights of my life, after the shit with my mother and that fucking storm outside, I came here to this place. I sat out there with Carmen, my two kids, and we ate and we drank, and we were so happy to be here, more than any other place in the world. And you know I'm gonna eat here until I fall off the chair. But in business, sometimes shit happens. Uh, the playing field changes, whatever. And you gotta do whatever you gotta do to keep your dick up. If you hate it here so much, why don't you go to Da Giovanni? See if he'll cook you that bland shit for your shot of pancreas. I'll tell you one thing. And this is very hard. Nobody wants to hear you talk. They're trying to eat out there. And you come along with your corny jokes and your stupid stories. Just stay in the kitchen. I'd be a start. Listen, I. I quit therapy. And this time, I'm never going back. Except for that slight improvement around the shooting. She wasn't doing you much good anyway. Here we go. Hi, strangers. How are you? How are you? Good, not bad. Good, good. There they are. So, 
Med was in here with Patrick Parisi? Yeah. We are very happy. Very happy. Is it true what she said? She's quitting pre-med? Yes, thank God. Yeah. We are so relieved. You know, with age and... Uh... I mean, it's not just that. I don't know one doctor who was advising his children to go into medicine. Between the, uh, the insurance companies over their shoulder, the hospitals are making cutbacks. She'd have been good at it, though, Med. Always intellectually curious, even as a tyke. But does compassion come naturally to her? Patience? I'm not so sure. What are you talking about? So what is she going to do now? Well? Law. Oh. Constitutional law. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> and what about AJ? How's he doing? Oh, he's good. He's good. Good. Tom, you know his in tonight? Man genius? The judge coach, sweetie. I should go say hello. So, Med and Patrick Parisi? <laughs> Little awkward, though, maybe. Patsy still works for Tony? He's an underling? Yeah, well, Cupid's dart lands. <laughs> I'm gonna send some limoncellos over in celebration. Great. 